I'm Stacy, and I'm going to read a story to you today. And the name of that story is called Brown Bear is Hungry. And Brown Bear is very, very hungry. Brown Bear is very hungry, so he went out to look for some food. As he was walking along, he saw his friend Sammy the Squirrel. Sammy had some corn, and he shared it with Bear. But Bear was still hungry, so he continued on his walk to look for food. Well, that was nice he shared his food. As Brown Bear was walking along, he saw his friend, Gray Mouse. Gray Mouse was about to fall asleep inside a cornucopia. Gray Squirrel had eaten most of the food that was inside the cornucopia. He saw Brown Bear and told him he could have the acorns that were left. Brown Bear was so hungry, he ate them in one big gulp. But Bear was still hungry, so he continued on his walk to look for food. I wonder who Bear meets next. Let's find out. Walking along, walking along. As Brown Bear was walking along, he saw his friend, Brown Turkey. Brown Turkey was about to eat some pumpkin pie. Brown Turkey shared his pie with Brown Bear. Brown Bear was so hungry he ate some pie and he also ate both of the pumpkins that Brown Turkey had. Guess what? Brown Bear is still hungry. So Brown Bear continued on his walk to look for some more food. Walking along, walking along, Brown Bear is walking along. And he comes across Ricky the Raccoon. Ricky the Raccoon was about to eat some blueberries. Ricky the Raccoon invited Brown Bear to join him. Brown Bear ate the blueberries with Ricky the Raccoon. Do you think Brown Bear is full now? Nope, he's still hungry. So Brown Bear continued on his walk to look for more food. Walking along, walking along. And Brown Bear comes across Ollie the Owl. Ollie the Owl was about to eat some red cranberries. Ollie the Owl invited Brown Bear to join him. Brown Bear ate the cranberries with Ollie the Owl. Do you think Brown Bear is full now? <laughs> nope. Brown Bear is still hungry. So Brown Bear continued on his walk to look for more food. Walking along, walking along. Brown Bear's walking along, and he comes across Black Bear. Black Bear had made some homemade bread, found some honey, and made some apple cider. Wow, he was one busy bear. Black Bear invited Brown Bear to join him. Brown Bear ate two loaves of bread with lots and lots of honey spread all over the delicious bread, and he drank five big glasses of apple cider. Can you hold up five fingers? One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Way to go. Do you think Brown Bear is full now? Well, I would hope so. He ate two full loaves of bread with lots of honey. That would make me really full. Yes, Brown Bear is finally full. High five, Bear. Woohoo! Yay, he's full. No more walking along looking for food. Brown Bear was so happy. Now, and he had such a great time eating food with all of his friends. Yay, Brown Bear. So many nice friends Brown Bear has. Sharing all that food, Ollie the Owl and the turkey and the squirrel and the mouse and Ricky the Raccoon and Mr. Black Bear, all sharing their food. How very nice. Sharing is very good. Wow, Brown Bear thought. This is just like having a Thanksgiving feast. Thanksgiving will be here soon, and I am so thankful for all my friends. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And... Then Brown Bear went home and fell asleep. If you enjoyed this story, you can go to www.adaycare.com and you'd be happy to know that it is included in our Preschool November curriculum for free. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. Hi. Our
curriculum is broken down into four weekly lesson plans for November. We have Farm Animal Week, Fruit and Vegetable Week, Native American Week, and Thanksgiving Week. Brown Bear is Hungry is included in our Thanksgiving Week. Plus, after the story, there is an activity where a teacher will print out the bear, cut out his mouth, and print out the foods, and the children will have a fun activity being able to feed the bear all the foods he ate in the story. This is our turkey color matchup. There are two pages of these turkeys for the children to match up. This is a fun activity for the children to be able to learn their colors or to review their colors. There is also a turkey color book to print out. The children will color the turkeys in the book different colors. We also have this fine motor activity to use during Native American Week. Directions to this activity will be included in the lesson plans. This is another Native American number activity. The children will color the numbers certain colors. For example, they will color all the number ones green and all the number twos yellow and all the number threes red. We do it here where we give the children just one crayon such as the green, we show them the number one on the dry erase board and then they can look and find the ones and color them green. And when they're done we give them a yellow crayon, we put the number two on the dry erase board, they look for the number two and then again they color the twos. The children are learning the number five in our curriculum during November. So we have a worksheet for the children to trace the number five and color the five ears of corn during fruit and vegetable week. A fine motor letter activity during fruit and vegetable week is for the children to match up the letters to the letters that are around the orange. The children can use clothespins and clip the clothespins to the letters. We also have a math activity where the children will shake a cube die to see how many turkeys are sitting on the fence and then they will put that many turkeys on the fence. You can view many more of our activities for each month on our website at www.adaycare.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.